All right, so let's do something completely different here. We're going to record a video about Wolfenstein enemy territory. So the best game ever made. It's an FPS taking place in the World War II era. It features the Allies versus the Axis, so you can either play as American or as German forces, and it's all objective maps. So this particular map is Venice. The Allied team is tasked with driving a tank, blowing through a gate. Now I'll just give you a quick run through here. The Allied team is tasked with stealing a tank, blasting through a gate, so here, let me show you the Allied team. Axis team is on defense. They've got to drive this tank over here. They got to destroy this tank barrier, and they got to drive the tank over here. They got to drive it through this wall here, destroy this tank barrier, drive it all the way over to here. Then they have to blow a hole in this door and possibly this wall. And once they do that, then they can go and steal some sort of an artifact here from the museum. And then the Allied team must... Then the Allied team must take that to this boat. And then they must drive this boat through this river. And yes, you can go underwater in enemy territory. Drive it all the way over here. Get through any boat barriers that were built. And I think the map ends right here at the truck. So the boat eventually drives to there if the allies are able to do that. And so these are all objective missions, by the way. And enemy territory has five character classes. The soldier class on this server includes submachine gun, shotgun, machine gun, flamethrower, panzerfaust, or mortar. You've also got a medic, engineer, field ops who can call in air and artillery strikes, and covert ops who can dress up like the enemy and do some other tricks. But we're not really here to play on this server, we're just here to show you what this game is all about. And to critique one of my own maps. So we're just going to bring up one of my replays here real quick. And we're going to do... We're going to do E.T. Beach, because this is a pretty hard map. Now, I didn't play great on this map, but this should be okay to show you sort of what this game is like. And I'll be critiquing my own gameplay, Fight. which means I'll be raging, because I probably played like crap. Anyway, we started the recording right at the beginning of the map. And this character right here is me. I'm currently an Axis medic. So I'm trying to defend our... I'm trying to defend our beach Dynamite fortress planted. from the incoming allies. And here you have me throwing a grenade. I do grenade a guy here early in the map. Let's see if I can catch it. This guy right here is about to get grenaded. And there he goes flying. Dynamite planted. And there's what I'm dressed up as. I just slowed this down as I did a little dance with my teammate here. And now I'm going to throw some med kits and return to normal speeds. So now I'm not sure if we'll play the whole map here. I may speed things up or something like that toward the end. They have destroyed the side entrance. One of my teammates got taken out. And the spawn time on this map is currently at 14 seconds for our team. Bunker. Forward bunker. Reclaim. One they of the goals of the Allied the team is to bunker. capture a bunker, which will allow them to spawn more closely to their objective, which is inside our building, and I just got killed by a Panzer Fast. So here's one of my teammates. He's currently Too trying to snipe. And also, porn star Sarah J is on the team, so that's, a, that's always an advantage. And now I've respawned, and there's my spawn shield. Enemy territory features a spawn shield where you cannot take damage until that shield goes away. It helps to prevent spawn there. And I just ran right into death. So now I'm back. Let's see if I accomplish something better this time. I do actually have a rampage later in the map where I get 10 kills in a row. So bear with me. And I still haven't claimed a victim. Dead. 
And I just sped things up there for a minute if you're wondering. If you look in the lower left, you'll see the time frame. Time scale 3. And there was my first kill on Cerrado. If you hear that dink sound, that is a headshot. They have captured the forward and bunker. Headshots do not kill people in one shot on killing spree. They're already depleted of health. And I'm throwing some med kits on my injured teammate here from Finland, apparently. Yes. And people from all around the world play on this server. This is the Fearless Assassin server. This is probably the top server in the world by far. And we see the world's top players regularly playing on this server. Many really, really good serve, uh, players on this server every day. In fact, there's probably some top-rated person playing right now. Killing spree. So while this game is quite old, it retains an ongoing presence and has quite a lively community. Tens of thousands of rated players, too. So the covert ops on the other team just destroyed our command post, which actually slows our spawn down. Killing spree. And we're back. And here's a little tour of the downstairs. This is where our documents are located, so the Axis is trying to prevent the Allies from going up those steps that I just went down with the documents in that room behind that door back they have so that's, a command uh, post. They're trying to steal the documents and transmit them from right above our spawn, which is a pretty difficult task on this map. It's a very difficult map for the Allies. And I think I take some allies out in this area. I think this is an extended battle here by this door. And Zuho here from Finland. He and I fight this area for quite a while. And that is one of the strategies for this game. One of the strategies for this game is to fight the same spot. They have damaged our command post. So that you know all the little nooks and crannies and the cover and so on. That's our ammo cabinet. This server does include double jump also, so if you're playing on a server without double jump. Your jumps are about half the size of the jumps on this server. The game is very, very fast. Being able to jump around and run backwards and stuff is crucial to this game. It's almost like Super Mario first-person shooter. It's very, very good. Very, very fast. And requires a very high levels. Very high levels of skill. There's some kid in Estonia who's 12 who can house you all day in this game. And I'm gonna get hit by a grenade right about now. <laughs> See, I actually remembered that one. So. And shout out to... Who was that? That was... F-A-W-S-M. And here we're back again after another spawn. Not really playing that badly here. Although not great. I'm not going to survive this duel either. Shout out to F.A. Long. And that is one of the long-time admins of the Fearless Assassin's Clan. Which actually used to be a partner clan with us. We actually used to share a, a COD force. And it was the fifth... The fifth uh, most populated COD 4 server in the world on PC. At the time... Call of Duty 4 was the most popular first-person shooter. And there, one of my teammates just blew himself up because he'd been poisoned with a poison knife. He blew himself up to, de to deny the other player the kill, which is why I typed LOL. 
said I have some bad Killing luck coming spree. through here for a moment. Let's speed this up. Get back down and fight in the basement. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not doing well at the moment. So at least my teammate revived me. That that always helps. And here's some more slow motion smash-o footage. Where I'm fumbling around trying to jump over this handrail. And now I'm going to throw a grenade. I'm timing it. And I did a terrible job. <laughs> I threw it at exactly nobody. Danger was exposed to a little bit too much danger. That's a lot of med kits. I need a lot of med kits. In real life. And that was a bit of a rough moment there, but we made it through. Another terrible grenade throw. I just threw that grenade on myself. Yes. Yep, that's the way it goes, folks. Anyway, seriously though, this game requires massive levels of skill. It's really hard, it's really fast. It does not require a good computer, so that's one of the best things about it. You can run this thing on a Commodore 64 practically. It's just spectacular. You could play this on your laptop most likely. I would recommend a mouse. A mouse instead of a trackpad or something like that for sure. And I got grenaded. Let's see what Eddie's doing. There's Eddie. He made Eddie. Killing! Here's some other teammates getting blown up. And there's some guy from Mexico, it looks like. Time to go back downstairs, it looks like. Oh, I've come outside and been blown up. Objective taken. And we respawned. <laughs> Time to head back to the basement. I think this is a long protracted fight in the stairwell. Killing spree. I do definitely get at least 10 in a row on this. Objective taken. I think this is the beginning of the rampage. Objective taken. Nope, this is more terrible luck here. Oh, I changed my mind. I got it. Come on, come on, come on, I thought he got me for some reason there. All right. Another rather bad throw. I don't know. I was having a bad day throwing grenades. Just a bad grenade day. I don't know what. I don't know what it was. Well, there's three in a row. Actually, that's four in a row. My next kill will be a killing spree. Objective secure. Objective secure. Come I think on, I get. I think I get another six or seven here without suffering a death. Rampage. And I was just throwing extra grenades there because I was at the ammo cabinet. Not for any particular reason other than that. It's free ammunition. Killing spree. So there's five in a row. That would be six. Schlump. I just played with Schlump yesterday. He was on my team yesterday. Or she. Or they. Maybe Schlump is Sherbet gendered, who knows? Leave us a comment if you're Sherbet gendered. Right, 
Snuck in a headshot there. Helping out the teammate. And this engineer here is carrying a shotgun. Alright, maybe I didn't get 10 in a row. I thought I had 10 in a row. Anyway, it was good timing because I've respawned. The good news about this game is if you get killed with only one second till respawn, the respawn they is quick. The forward bunker. They've recaptured the forward bunker. I got him. Zig should have zagged. There's my pal from Finland. He became pal on this map. Now this stairwell is pretty difficult for the allies to get to. I got two of that one grenade there. This stairwell is pretty hard for the allies to get, and they have a tendency to get captured in there. But if it's stuck in that stairwell, it's a very bad place for them to be. There's a third grenade kill. And I've lined the area with med kits to keep my teammates alive. Killing spree! And I'm out of grenades, so I'm going back for some more. By the way, this, this server does not register friendly fire hits. So your weapons don't injure teammates on this server. And if you play this game in competition, friendly fire is turned on. You can hurt your teammates. Medic. And I got back raged, and I'm not going to escape from that one. I almost got him there with some headshots to start off the uh, the duel. Killing. And we're back. I've spawned again. Headed back Die. to the base. And we've got three minutes to go. And just so you know, the Allied team can grab the documents and get to the transmitter in less than a minute. If they're really good at trick jumping. Again, this game is quite a bit like Super Mario Brothers, just in three dimensions and with the ability to shoot each other and blow each other up. You can even stomp on each other, which is called a Goomba kill. It's just fantastic, folks, seriously. Try this game out. It's freeware. It costs nothing. You can even make your own maps. It's absolutely spectacular. They have 
killing spree. Oh darn, he got me. And we've only got a minute and a half left on the map. So yeah, check out this game. If you haven't, you're in, the, if you're in the games, especially first person shooters, check this one out. If you play first person shooters, chances are your computer can handle this. It's got very low requirements for system. And, uh, yeah, check it out. Play on the Fearless Assassin server, FA Recruiting. FA Recruiting is the name of the server. They've also got a web forum, The Fearless Assassins. They're located in the U.S. And they are just thanks, FA. If you're watching this, cheers. Thanks for posting the videos. Don't forget to watch the other videos on our channel. Cheers. And thanks again for hosting the best game ever for so many years. I got back here, but that's just what happens. And then I forgot to spawn too, so I failed. I double failed. Here. Now this player right here, Mofo, this is one of the top players in the world. That player is in the top 20, I think. So I don't really think I accomplished very much else here. Except getting blown up by a panzer fast. Come on, post constructing. Anyway, we won the map. I just thought it would be interesting to show you something different here. Hope you enjoyed my little critique of my ET map. And Hey, maybe we'll see you on the battlefront in the future. Cheers.